hosted by volunteers uh, who work with the Surfrider Foundation, who are a group of surfers who are interested in ocean health. They give us 20 liters of seawater, and we process that seawater and concentrate the radioactive isotopes that we're interested in from the seawater to determine how much contamination is there. In 2015, uh, we, we collected an individual fish uh, that we could detect artificial radioactivity um, in the fish itself. Um, this contrasts with almost all the other fish that we've collected uh, on the order of about 400 fish over those three years uh, where we're unable to actually detect any artificial radionuclides in the individuals. In this particular one we could detect cesium-137 which is an artificial, uh, a man-made radionuclide. And so we decided to have a, a more careful look to see if some of that contamination was related to Fukushima. The way that we do that is to look for cesium-134. And that isotope has a relatively short half-life of two years. And if we see cesium-134 in a fish today, we know that it has been affected by Fukushima. When we count for longer, we can see smaller and smaller amounts of radioactivity.